so today we're going to start out by, um, well, we're going to talk about plastic surgery. Now, when I hear the words plastic surgery, the next thing that comes to mind is Hollywood. I mean, I think we can all think of celebrities that have had some really good work, and then others were maybe not so much. Um, but the point is that Hollywood always seems to be ahead of the curve when it comes to the next thing in plastic surgery. Uh, that is, until now. We're making New York important in this today. Um, here to tell us the latest beauty secrets and about all the latest breakthroughs, this is Dr. Anthony Yoon. Hi. Plastic surgeon, nice guy, very handsome. Needs no plastic surgery, as you can see. But you know everything about what's up and coming. Yeah, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Today we're gonna talk about the hottest, newest things in plastic surgery and what's coming down the pike and maybe even things you can do right now. Uh, Oh, he looks at me when he says that, thanks. <laughs> I know I turned 40, I see it. Um, I, you know, is this a recession-proof business? Are people even thinking about doing plastic surgery right now? People actually still are. I mean, last year, over 12 million people underwent plastic surgery procedures. And of those 12 million, they spent over $12 billion in plastic surgery. And it seems like every year That's at least- a lot of work. <laughs> at least five to 10% increase in, in this whole market of plastic surgery. It's really? crazy, yeah. That surprises me. It really does, because I would think that that would be uh, certainly a luxury item. It is, but I tell you, I mean, I've almost never been busier. It's really people are still coming in and they're hmm. still having things done. So the first thing you're going to show us here is kind of like a, a crystal ball, sort of a computer program. Exactly. So what we have now are tools that we can use as plastic surgeons, but also people can use at home, even on the internet, to morph their face and to make it look like you've had work done. So if you've ever thought about, you know, what would I look like if I had a rhinoplasty, a nose job, or a facelift, you can actually get on computer programs, change the shape of your face, and make it look like you had a procedure done. I always thought the name rhinoplasty was really funny because it makes you think of a rhinoceros. You're like, you know, you know, it's not a good setup. <laughs> no. Well, and you know, the first person that we're going to show you is an actor, somebody who I'm sure you know, you know, you know who he is, Adrian Brody. And I think you agree I with like me. I like Adrian Brody. He's a good-looking guy, right? Nose. And he has gotten some great roles with that. Definitely. But what I did is I used a plastic surgeon morphing program mm -hmm. to change it and make it look like he oh had a great. rhinoplasty. Now, I think you could agree he looks great before. I mean, he's a good-looking guy, but afterwards. I think he actually looks a bit better. I mean, what do you think? The nose matches his face a little bit more. Uh, it allows other good amazing. features now, to come out. If we out. did this at home, is this something you can access on the internet or you have to go to a doctor to get there, this kind of program? There are actually programs out there that literally you can upload your face, a, a, a picture of your face, and you can say, I want to have an eyelid lift, a facelift, a rhinoplasty, and it will actually morph it and give you an idea of what you may look like. Because that looks great. And I mean, does, yeah. it doesn't look like a doctored picture. Exactly, no. And that's obviously a sign of good plastic surgery, is work that you don't really know has been done they just plain look good wow so we have uh, Angela yes we have an audience member who mm -hmm. wanted to try this so uh, Angela where are you right here hi hi is this something you've been thinking about for a long time it is something I've been thinking about I mean all my life I have wanted a nose job I've just not been able to afford it and I would love to see what I would look like it's before a huge I would, investment. it is a huge investment and so before I would get anything done I would love to see what it would look like this I mean it's a big investment so it would be great but to I think see what you I look, look lovely like. by the way thank you I mean, you know my sister when she was a teenager wanted a nose job and now she's so happy she didn't I can't imagine her face looking any other way. And it's not for everybody and that's why these programs are helpful because you can get an idea of what yeah. you may look like after the surgery um, so that's what we did with Angela actually is I took her picture and as you can see in her before picture, Whoa, oh she has a bit of a, of a bump on her nose and you can see it right here. And what I did was just using the, the program, yeah, I took that bump down and now she's got a nice wow. stylish profile. It's nice and straight. And I also took the tip of her nose down a bit too. That's a big difference. It is, it is amazing what you can do with this program. Yeah, she looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, she looks great with or without it. Um, but this is just a way That's that a, she what can see. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Yes. All right. The next thing we're going to talk about is a